In this video, we'll be learning about the product rule for differentiation. Now, let's say we're given a function, f of x, which can be written as the product of two functions. In other words, it can be written as u of x times another function, v of x. Then the product rule states that the derivative of this function, f dash of x, will be equal to u dash of x times v of x plus u of x times v dash of x. You'll want to make a note of this rule. That's known as the product rule. So let's go ahead and see how we can use this product rule for differentiating some functions. Let's consider this first example. We're given the function f of x equals to x squared times e of x. And we're asked to differentiate this function. Well, the key thing to see here is that we could write f of x as the product of two functions. It, that, that means that we can write f of x as u of x times v of x in which case u of x would be this x squared, so u of x equals to x squared, and v of x would be e of x, the exponential function. Remembering that the product rule that we saw just a couple of minutes ago states that the derivative function in this case would be f dash of x equals to u dash of x v of x, plus u of x times v dash of x. And using the fact that we've just said that u of x is x squared and v of x is the exponential function, e of x, we can go ahead and say u dash of x equals to 2x, and v dash of x is equal to the exponential function. Remember, when we differentiate e of x, the result is just e of x. So, using all of this, we can go ahead and replace each of these expressions that we see here, u dash of x by 2x, vx by e of x, u of x by x squared, and v dash of x by v dash of x, e of x. So this would lead us to f dash of x is equal to 2x times e of x, plus x squared times e of x. And we're done. We've just differentiated this function. It's worth pointing out here that if we wanted to, we could go ahead and factorize this and say that the derivative f dash of x is equal to 2x plus x squared times e of x. And that would be our final answer. Let's look at another example. Let's say we're given the function f of x equals to 2x cubed times ln of x. Then again, we can see here that this function f of x is the product of two functions. Those are 2x cubed, which I'll call u of x, and ln of x, which I'll call v of x. And so using the product rule, we can go ahead and differentiate this function. But it's often good, a good idea just to summarize all, all the information we're going to need to begin with. What I mean by this is it's a good idea to write the following. u of x equals to 2x cubed. Therefore, u dash of x would be 6x squared. And in a similar way, v of x equals to ln of x. And so v dash of x is equal to 1 over x. The reason why we do this is so that we have all the information we'll need right in front of us. And we can go right ahead now and say that f dash of x is equal to u dash of x v of x 
plus u of x times v dash of x. And so now, replacing each of these expressions, or each of these functions, I should say, by these functions that we just determined above in blue, we can find the derivative function and say that this is equal to 6x squared times ln of x plus 2x cubed times 1 over x. And we can simplify this a little further to say that f dash of x is equal to 6x squared times ln of x plus 2x squared. Remember, when I look at this x cubed, 2x cubed term, and 1 over x, this 1 over x is going to cancel out one of the x's, so we'll end up with the x squared that we see here. And there we have it. This would be our final answer. f dash of x is equal to 6x squared ln of x plus 2x squared. Let's look at another example. Let's say we're given f of x is equal to x squared plus 2 in parentheses, times sine of x. Now once again, to differentiate this, we can use a product rule, and we can define this first function as u of x, and sine of x as v of x. And again, we can organize our work and state that u of x equals to x squared plus 2, so the derivative u dash of x is equal to 2x, and v of x is equal to sine of x, and so v dash of x is equal to cosine of x. And so now we can use the product rule. And again, we state that f dash of x is equal to u dash of x v of x plus u of x v dash of x. And now replacing each of these functions, u dash of x, v of x, u of x, and v dash of x, by the expressions we have here, we find that f dash of x is equal to 2x times sine x plus x squared plus 2 in parentheses times cosine of x. And there we go. That would be our final answer. Let's look at one more example. Example 4. Let's say we're given f of x equals to sine of x times cosine of x. Then in this case, once again, we can see that this is a product of two functions, namely u of x and v of x. And so organizing our work in the same way as we did previously, we could say that u of x equals to sine x, or sine of x, Therefore, the derivative u dash of x is equal to cosine of x. v of x is equal to cosine of x. And so its derivative v dash of x is equal to negative sine of x. And now that we've got all this, we can go ahead and use the product rule to state that f dash of x, the derivative, is equal to u dash of x v of x plus u of x v dash of x. And again, replacing u dash of x v of x u of x and v dash of x by the expressions we have written here in blue, this would lead us to f dash of x is equal to cosine of x times cosine of x plus sine of x times negative sine of x. And when we multiply cosine of x with cosine of x, that's cosine of x squared, which we write like this, cosine squared of x. We then have sine of x times negative sine of x. So that leads us to negative sine squared of x. 
And so we could stop here and say that this is our final answer. But I, I'm going to go ahead and write something here in blue for those of you who know the double angle formula. Remember that cosine 2 of x is equal to cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. If you haven't seen this yet in class, don't worry. You're likely to see this when you study trigonometric functions. But for those of you who have seen this double angle formula for cosine, it's worth using here. We can see that f dash of x then would be equal to cosine 2 of 2x. And that would be our final answer. I will point out that this final answer would also be accepted, so long as you haven't seen the double angle formula for cosine. And there you go. That's how you use the product rule for differentiation.